is one coming who I am not fit to tie his sandals. Welcome my beautiful brothers and sisters connecting all has one heart from all over Mother Earth to the portal of the Casa de Dominacio, the house of love, where the medicine is love. Here in Abidjania, in the heart of Brazil. And we have another spectacular day here. Fresh, cool in the mornings, and now the sun is shining brilliantly with lots of fluffy white clouds passing slowly by reminding us that change is constant and the sky changes all the time and this too will pass nothing is permanent and the blue of the sky is the colour of our mantle of our Divine Mother, Mary, her protection, her comfort, her love for us, her children. And creation is buzzing, alive. Lots of bees and lots of beige flowers, hummingbirds, flitting about from beautiful flower to flower, collecting nectar and honey. And there are butterflies everywhere also reminding us of our transformation. And the birds are constantly serenading us in a divine symphony. So it's a beautiful day, another gift from God to learn these lessons that we have come here on earth to learn in these physical bodies. So as we dedicate ourselves to this divine work, just be as comfortable as you possibly can. Wherever you are, if you're lying on a crystal bed, this is lovely. You can relax and receive this high vibration from the Casa crystals. If you prefer to sit upright, this is great also. Just don't cross your body in any way and maybe it's a good idea to keep our heads elevated just a little so this energy can flow fluidly, freely and easily to each and every one of us like a river, a current of love and light 
And if you remember to put a glass of water beside you, our bodies are over 70% water and it will be blessed. And at the end of the work, we will drink it to nourish us, mind, body, spirit. And we can go forward and multiply this beautiful love light into the world. So let's close our physical eyes and leave the material world behind and connect with our true home beyond the veil. Taking this opportunity now to really go deep, let's put our intention into doing the best work we possibly can and taking a deep, deep, deep breath into the heart center, the center of our being. Today is a great day for a lot of reasons, but we honor St. John the Baptist. It is his feast day and there's a great connection with the Casa. St. John the Baptist and St. Ignatius of Biola are both co-patrons of the Casa de Dom Ignacio. And when Medium Jamal worked in the Casa, very rarely did he incorporate St. John the Baptist. And when he did, he sent everybody down to the waterfall at the Casa, which is a beautiful cleansing, healing energy. So today is a day where we celebrate life, hope, regeneration, renewal of our energy fields and truth. So it's a very powerful day and a great way for us to really connect with our true home in the celestial fields knowing that we are so looked after and St John the Baptist is an amazing high vibration. He was a cousin of Jesus and he was a very famous prophet. He started uh, his ministry uh, just before uh, Jesus started his. He was a fascinating character altogether. He ate locusts and honey in the wilderness of the desert. And crowds came to him and he constantly told them he was nothing, that the coming Messiah was everything. Many thought that he was the Messiah and he said, no, there is one coming that I am not fit to tie his sandals. And even when, uh, before he was born, Elizabeth, who was uh, related to Mary, was uh, pregnant with John the Baptist and Mary went to visit her and John the Baptist jumped for joy in her womb recognizing the Messiah. This is a beautiful story reminding us that God knows everything and the prophecies were fulfilled by John, of ba John the Baptist coming to earth. His life was cut short because he criticised a king for sinning. And there's a famous saying, bring me the head of John the Baptist. He paid a very high price for criticising the wrongdoings of King Herod. So Jesus started his ministry in 
30 AD when he went to the River Jordan and John the Baptist recognised him immediately and said, it is I who need baptism from you, Jesus. But Jesus honoured John the Baptist and said, among those born of women, there has not been one greater than you, John. And as the baptism was happening of Jesus, the heavens opened and the Spirit of God was seen like a dove. And the voice of God spoke, saying, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. John the Baptist reminds us that he was baptizing with water and he prophesied that Jesus would come and baptize with the Holy Spirit and fire. Traditionally St John's Day is celebrated with bonfires the transmutation of all dense energy into divine light. So let us celebrate this beautiful festival today and embrace the high vibration of John the Baptist. Hope, renewal, purification and eternal life. And Jesus told us many, many centuries ago that when few were called in his name, he will be present. So trusting the promises of the Christ consciousness, may Christ return to earth. And Jesus gave us all a beautiful gift, bestowing upon his 12 apostles the very high vibration of the Lord's Prayer that has come down to us through the ages, teaching us how to pray, how to talk to God, our Father, how to forgive, how to surrender to the will of God Almighty, and how to make that strong, powerful connection with our true home, in the celestial fields. Let us pray with open hearts, trustingly, without ceasing. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation rather deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory now and forever. Amen. And to our Divine Mother Mary, the Mother's heart, 
the feminine power. Queen of Peace, Mother Earth, we ask you now in this sacred moment to intercede for us, your children, to somehow alleviate the suffering of humanity, helping us all to find the peace, the harmony, the tranquility, the love, the forgiveness, the joy, the gratitude, the compassion, deep, deep within us, and it is within all of us, we are divine beings, helping us all, incarnate and disincarnate, back home, merging into the light, one heart, one soul, one light, one love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us children now and at the hour of our passing. Amen.
universe is unfolding exactly as it is meant to. There are no coincidences, no accidents ever. There's a reason why we're all here together right now in this very moment in time and space, connecting to the energy of the Casa de Dominacio. It is our spiritual home. The Casa welcomes all creeds, all colors, all belief systems. And in particular, those without belief are welcome here. And this energy is pouring from the portal of the Casa, multiplying, expanding all over the world. We are carrying this energy to where is it needed most. Where there are shadows, we are bringing divine light, hope. And no matter how hard things are now, this too will pass. We have never had more help available to us from beyond the veil. There are so many elevated beings, angels, archangels, guardian angels, who we forget about, ascended masters, and all of these multitudes of entities of light and love. with us, available to us, 24-7. We just need to reach out and ask them to help. Ask and you will receive. On this very special day, let us reach out to our brother, Saint John the Baptist, to help us with our difficulties now in this valley of tears. Nothing is insurmountable to God. Let us pray. Saint John the Baptist, you who walked the earth and had a pilgrimage in the desert, you who announced the coming Messiah, and on behalf of the Holy Spirit, did baptize our Lord Jesus in the waters of the Jordan River. Pour on us, O Holy Spirit, the blessings of St. John the Baptist. St. John the Baptist, you are the King of justice and truth. Lay in the human heart love, compassion and charity. O most loving St. John the Baptist, open the doors of our hearts so we can receive the blessings that you can give us. Fill our hearts with joy so we can follow our paths fulfilling our mission here on earth. We ask in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit 
the Trinity, that the spirit of St. John the Baptist will dwell and work in our hearts now and forever. And grant that united in the name of love, we can heal all of our wounds and restore our faith in our brother, Jesus. And so be it. Amen.
a holy shift happening on earth. Painful endings are bright new beginnings. We are shifting dimensions. We are growing and we are experiencing pain. Letting go is growing up into the light, the very essence of our being. This explosion of consciousness on the planet is shaking us up, helping us to get our lives into perspective, to realize what really matters. And we're all in this together. Granted, there are some people suffering much more than others. Our job is to help each other. We are pilgrims on the path and we are just walking each other home. If you can't help someone, at least don't hurt them. We are all brothers and sisters. It may be hard to see this right now beyond appearances, but we have all been called back here to earth to work together as one heart. And God did not abandon us. We need to see beyond the hand of man and see the hand of God in everything. We are all children of God, the same family. We need to trust, have faith and believe in the divine plan. We are reminded today in particular that God has sent us the Holy Spirit, part of the Trinity. Let us pray. Come Holy Spirit. Fill our hearts with your holy gifts. Let our weaknesses be penetrated this very day, that we may fulfill all the duties of our state conscientiously, that we may do what is right and just. Let our charity be such as to offend no one's feelings. So generous as to put pardon sincerely any wrongdoing done unto us. Assist us, O Holy Spirit, in all of our trials of life. Enlighten us in our ignorance advise us in our doubts, strengthen us in our weaknesses, and help us in all of our needs. Protect us in temptations, and console us in afflictions. Graciously hear us, O Holy Spirit, and pour your light into our hearts, our souls, and our minds. Assist us 
to live a holy life and to grow in goodness and in grace. Amen.
just take a nice deep, deep breath now. Relaxing as much as we can. Our hard work is over for now. This is beautiful work. Thank you. We are now receiving a deep, deep, deep cleansing from our brother, St. John the Baptist. This is a unique opportunity now to let go of all dense energies from this lifetime and indeed past lifetimes, known or unknown to us, as we surrender all of our problems, our anxieties, our fears, our pain, our rage, our hurt, our anxiety, our grudges, our resentments, anything that's not from the light, handing all of this denser energy over to our creator, the architect of the cosmos, transmuting all of this denser energy into divine light as we become lighter, happier, healthier, stronger, more peace and harmony with all of creation, of which each and every one of us is an integral part of. In our mind's eye now, if you'd like to visualize a waterfall, like the waterfall here at the Casa, or any place of sacred running water that you know. All water is sacred. With all the gifts of Mother Nature, big blue butterflies, helping us with our transformation. Strong green oak trees, purifying our oxygen. Carpets of magnificent, brilliant, fragrant flowers being kissed by hummingbirds and bumblebees. Birds of paradise serenading us in a divine symphony. Brilliant sunshine and crystal clear waters embodying rainbows of light. Let's all go together to this beautiful place. Bring your family and friends with you. And bring those you need to forgive and those who need to forgive you. This is a time of true forgiveness, of surrendering anything and everything that's stopping us, holding us back from becoming the beautiful life beings that we truly are. There has never been a better time to let go of anything that's blocking us, stopping us from stepping into the light, the very core of our being. Forgiveness is unlocking the door to set someone free and realizing we were the prisoner all along. And today, in the spirit of St. John the Baptist, let us bring all of our brothers and sisters who are not awake, who are desperate, depressed, isolated, desolated, who are desperate, who really don't feel the love of God in their hearts, who feel abandoned. Let's bring our brother, John of God, 
into this high vibration. Today officially is his birthday. I'm bringing anyone and everyone who has been affected by the problems at the Casa. sisters without their physical bodies who are stuck or who need to be liberated into the light extending this magnificent high vibration of forgiveness to all of our brothers and sisters whether they have a body or not every being needs to be liberated to feel the love of God and as we receive this magnificent high vibration pouring into our open hearts from on high let's share our bounty with the world bringing this gorgeous cleansing healing energy into all hospitals, helping our angel doctors and nurses, all of our healthcare professionals and anyone who is in a caring capacity in these challenging days on earth. Allowing this beautiful high vibration now to pour forth into all hospices, nursing homes, helping our elders, Asylums, prisons, orphanages, migrant camps. Helping to liberate our brothers and sisters, recognizing we're all the same, equal, no difference. Children of God. Anywhere and everywhere on earth where our brothers and sisters are suffering, in pain, hungry, homeless permitting this God light now to pour forth into all war zones anywhere there's unrest riots friction bringing peace and harmony in our lifetime remembering the words of Saint Rita of Cassia always with us to God all things are possible. This beautiful high vibration now pouring forth into the consciousness of our government leaders anywhere there is a human being in authority over another helping them to make good decisions about our future and the future of this planet for future generations to come. To wake up to our divinity. We're all children of God. To put people before prophets. Permitting this magnificent pristine, crystal clear energy now to gush forth into all of our ecosystems, regenerating, nourishing, regrowing. Already Mother Earth is bouncing back. Hallelujah, praise God. God is great. This beautiful moment now this cleansing healing energy enveloping Gaia growing expanding multiplying as it gushes forth into infinity cleansing and healing all beings courage and disencourage
as we receive these waves of love light pouring from the celestial fields into our open hearts, filling us up to overflowing with God's love. sacred trinity of innumerable names for another opportunity to connect with our true home in the celestial fields to receive your graces so that we can walk the path of delight in these challenging days knowing that we are greatly loved and all is in divine order. And we will be liberated from this valley of tears into your loving arms when our earthly lives are finished. And thank you to all of these beautiful angels, archangels, guardian angels, elevated beings, ascended masters, all of these beautiful entities of light and love with us every step of this journey, helping us, loving us, protecting us. Helping us realize that we are not alone. And in particular today to our beautiful brother, St. John the Baptist. For reminding us that every day we can be washed in the love of God. Renewed. Our faith, hope and love in a supreme being. Thank you, John the Baptist. And your cousin, Jesus. whom you prophesied his birth and him as the Messiah, Prince of Peace. And thank you to our Mother Mary, always present in our lives, their sacred hearts beaming out, their protective love light, helping us to realize That when our job is done here on earth, we will be welcomed home into their loving arms, liberated into the light. And thank you, my magnificent, brave, courageous brothers and sisters, for your willingness again and again to love and to serve in all things for the greater glory of God. Your faith will heal you and those around you and Mother Earth and your love and your light are changing the world forever for the better. Congratulations and thank you. Let us pray in the spirit of John the Baptist and Dom Ignacio. We ask that only the light of God shine through, that the light 
of Jesus and Mary dissolve all darkness. The light of the Christ consciousness dissolve all darkness. The fire of the Holy Spirit dissolve all darkness. The light of God is my strength, my power, my highest vibration, my transformative power. The presence of God's light within me is my strength. And so be it. Namaste.